Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for joining me um, in another video. Now, today I want to talk about something that's been um, requested a bunch of times, and it's probably uh, one of the most requested things that people have been asking for, if not the most requested thing that people have been asking me to cover. Um, and that is the percentage of completion method um, for the exam. Now, I know that when it comes to math, there's a lot of people that have a lot of anxiety because they think that, um, you know, they're going to be required to do, you know, lots of math or very high level math. But in reality, I think percentage of completion is one of the easiest things on the exam. And uh, if you see the percentage of completion questions, which you will, um, I think you should be excited about it because these are the kind of questions that you can knock out in really just a matter of moments uh, per each question and uh, and then you can move on to something more difficult. Uh, this is not high level math. This is very, very basic stuff. And uh, the good thing is that you're going to have a calculator, which you should on the exam. Um, so you are not really going to have to do much here. It's just a couple of simple steps. A couple of simple calculations will get you an answer. And there's really nothing to fret over, nothing to worry about. It's It's super, super basic stuff. So let's get into it. All right, percentage of completion. Now, the first thing that you want to do is that if you don't remember what the formula is, and you don't remember, you don't need to remember what the formula is. All you need to know is that if you need to know what the formula is, all you have to do is go to page 24 of Builder's Guide to Accounting. Okay, all the way at the bottom of the page is the formula that you will need to know in order to get the percentage of completion. All right, and that's very, very simple. It's cost to date divided by cost to date plus estimated remaining cost of completion. Simple, simple, simple. Nothing to worry about, okay? Okay, like if you can remember this, great. If you can't remember it, that's fine too. Just go to the book and the book will give you a quick reminder of what the formula is. And I think the easiest thing to do is just do a bunch of exam uh, example questions because, um, you know, practice makes perfect. And, and, and once you really get the hang of, of these kind of questions, um, they're, they're, you'll realize that there's really nothing to worry about. The only thing I do want to say is that on the actual exam questions, you know, what you need to do is you need to be able to find the pertinent information in it, each question. They may try to trip you up by giving you a bunch of additional things in the uh, exam, uh, in the question, things that are not relevant to what we're trying to do here, which is find the percentage of completion. So what you need to do on the exam is you need to be able to find the proper terms and what those numbers are. So I'm not going to do that here. I'm just going to basically assume that you've read, you've read the question and you found what is relevant. All right. So the project cost to date is $50,000. You've discovered that. And the estimated remaining cost to complete is 200,000. All right. So when you figure it out, all of that, all that's left is to do the actual calculation, which is simple, all right? What is the percentage of completion? So the cost to date, $50,000 divided by cost to date plus estimated remaining cost of completion, which is $50,000 plus $200,000. So it's, it's essentially $50,000 over $250,000 and that equals to 0.2 zero. All right. So another good thing is, like I said, you've got the calculator. And um, if you want to know what the percentage is, all you have to do is move the decimal two points or with your calculator, multiply that number by 100. And you will see that the answer is uh, 20%. All right. That's the percentage of completion, 20%. Let's do another one. So project cost to date $35,000. Estimate remaining cost to complete is $170,000. What is the percentage of completion? Um, you can pause here if you want to do the math real quick, or we can just move on. So you've got 35,000 divided by 35,000 plus 170,000, all right? So it's 35,000 divided by 205,000, and that equals to 0 0.1707, all right? Once again, move that decimal point two times or multiply it with your calculator by 100 and you will see that the percentage of completion is 17.07%. See, 
Nothing to really worry about. Simple. This is not, you know, this is not rocket science. This is not brain surgery. This is very, very basic stuff. And you don't even have to do anything because you've got the calculator with you. Let's do another one. So project cost to date is 17,000. The estimate remaining cost to complete is 235,000. What is the percentage of completion? So we have 17,000 divided by 17 plus 235. So 17 plus 235 will be 252. So 17,000 divided by 252,000, which equals to 0 0.0674. Once again, move the decimal point two times or multiply by 100, and you will see that the percentage of completion is 6.74, all right? So I think that after these three examples, I mean, you should get the hang of it. You can watch this once again or watch this a bunch of times if you need to review it. But for the most part, I think that this is, you know, this is kind of like the meat and potatoes of the percentage of completion method. Um, like I said, read the questions carefully and make sure that you pick out the pertinent information because they may throw other things into the question just to kind of try to throw you off. But for the most part, you know, it shouldn't be that difficult. And these are the kind of questions that you can bang out in literally just a few seconds uh, because of the, you know, you will have your calculator with you. So I don't think you really need to worry about it. I don't think you need to have any anxiety over it. Like I said, I've had a lot of guys reach out to me and say, hey, this is something that I'm worried about. How many math questions am I going to have? Don't worry about it. If you see percentage of completion, be happy. That's the kind of question that you want. It could be worse, okay? These questions you could knock out quickly. You know, I would rather do a bunch of percentage of completion questions than have to look, you know, for for information in, you know, in the in the Florida contractor's manual where you have like statutes and other stuff and and there's so much, you know, so many other things that they could ask for where you can easily get lost in the weeds. This is fairly simple. This is fairly straightforward, nothing really to worry about. I think that, uh, I think you're gonna be okay, all right? Just make sure that if you don't know, remember the formula, go to page 24 and that'll be your reminder. Other than that, um, that's pretty much it. If you've got any other questions, if there's something else you wanna see, if you, if you have any comments, please let me know. Uh, leave me a comment, um, you know, you could reach out to me, send me an email, whatever. Um, but other than that, I appreciate you watching this video. And, um, and, uh, and that's it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.